right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a very scarce, um, I think, 20-page, a 22-page um, pamphlet dating from the year 1716 uh, with um, a publisher's um, list of titles as the last page, the 23rd page. Um, let's look at the condition first. It, it's in excellent, clean um, condition there, um, and it's been professionally bound with a sort of Japanese-type paper, um, stiff a sort of archival cover and um, stamping there with all the details. What it is, is a sort of encyclical letter um, from the Bishop of Oxford of the period, his first, it's called the Bishop of Oxford's Charge to the Clergy of His Diocese and His Primary Visitation in July 1716, printed by for J. Heptinstall uh, in London, 1716, um, and a lovely sort of... Um, uh, capital printing, lovely, lovely typographical decoration here. Um, and it's basically an encyclical letter urging his clergy to various um, virtues that he, he wants his, his, his diocesan ministers to possess. But there's a lovely reference at the start to the late revolution, the, the um, um, Scottish rebellion of 1715. It says in this paragraph here, it says, here in the first place, I must not omit to congratulate with you on the freedom we now enjoy of, of coming together in this open, peaceable and solemn manner after the late most horrid and unnatural rebellion, which had it succeeded according to the wishes of our enemies in advancing to the throne of these kingdoms, a person trained up from his infancy in all the superstitions of popery, etc., etc., talking about the Scottish pretender, and so it goes on, and then he gets down to um, diocesan uh, business, as it were. So it's an, a letter to the clergy exhorting them in their duties, 1716, currently on the 140 million volume A books, antiquarian book site. There's not one single copy of this book for sale. All that's for sale are um, print on demand digital copies of later um, letters in the same series. 1716. Thanks very much indeed. Bye.